Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying a, a signature collection, the Killer Brownie Company. These are peppermint brownies. So I don't know that we've ever had anything from that said signature collection. I'm wondering if that doesn't mean like holiday or instead of putting like limited edition or something like that because it's a holiday flavor, if that's what the signature collection is. Maybe it's fancier because it's layered or something. I don't know. Uh, they're all layered for oh, the killer brownie, uh, yeah. Um, I'm so glad that Kroger is starting to sell these. This was $6.99 at Kroger. But now, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen I posted a picture of this. And they had a, a big, uh, like a brownie-sized pan a container of, I think it was the Brookie. But I posted a picture to my, my Instagram, on my Instagram, about these. I don't recall ever seeing the Killer Brownie at Kroger. So I think it's, it's great that they're going to have these. Um, the place for a little while. Uh, yeah. Uh, peppermint. Rich chocolate brownie with chocolate chips, peppermint cream, buttery caramel white chocolate chips, and red glittery sugar. You get five bars. Um, sustainably sourced cocoa, real Belgian chocolate chips, 100% hormone-free butter. One piece is 290 calories. The Killer Brownie is located in Dayton, Ohio, and Double it's killerbrownie.com. Yeah. Well, I mean, Dayton is a little far away. Dayton is, isn't it way up north? Way up north. Okay. So I've never been to Dayton. Mm -hmm. What would be the furthest in Ohio I've ever been? That time we Columbus. went to Columbus. Yeah. We went to Columbus. Uh, this is so thick. Oh my gosh. It smells good. So good. It, it's, yes. So Show soft. Show the other side. It's better. Okay. It looks like teeth. It does look like teeth. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it looks like molars. <laughs> uh, there you go. So you can see how. Huh? There you go. That's what I said. It looked like. Look like teeth on it the It does look like teeth. Um, we went to Columbus <coughs> years ago uh, to see Wicked. And uh, it's, it's actually on YouTube. There's a YouTube video of us going to see Wicked, believe it or not, from years ago. Ashley was younger, and uh, but that's the farthest I've ever been. Where's like that Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Oh, that's where... Uh, no. Cleveland. No. Isn't that in Cleveland? Okay. Every time I hear Cleveland, I think of um, the Drew, Drew Carey. Drew Carey, Cleveland Rocks. Mm -hmm. I like that song too. Mm. That's an excellent flavor and texture. I tell you what, you gotta like peppermint though. I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you, we've reviewed a lot of Killer Brownies. I've never had one this fresh. <laughs> they've all Very been. Soft. They've all been. Fresh, but not like that. It's really, really good. Mm. The peppermint is strong though. I mean, the peppermint literally like almost kills the chocolate flavor. It's there, the chocolate's there, but the peppermint's so strong that kind of takes over some of the flavors. That, um, I've never been so impressed with one of their brownies as I am right now. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Um, it's almost as if we've gone into their shop where they've just made them like you've gone into a bakery and you've ordered a slice and gotten it. That's how fresh that is. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. All the, not only the, the peppermint flavor, but the textures that you saw, I showed you the white chips. Yeah, they're kind of hard, crunchy chips. You, not you, crunchy, but chocolate chips. They give you something to bite through. Mm -hmm. And that brownie itself is so very, very soft. Mm -hmm. Then you get the um, little sugar crystals, which you're yes, getting a little you crystal literally, and gritty sugar texture. Yes, you literally get the sugar crystals. Mm -hmm. um, it's really, really good. To me, that is a five out of five. That is, it is awesome. Like I said, awesome. You, you better like peppermint because it's 100% peppermint. This makes me very excited. Uh, they better get more at Kroger. <laughs> different, different flavors that we've tried. So now we've we've already tried some, and and so um, although now I'm thinking Kroger's they're going to be really really fresh from Kroger. Um, not that they haven't been fresh before, but different places sell them in different ways. For example, the Fresh Market. I've seen we've bought them in containers from the Fresh Market, 
but I've also seen them behind the glass at the fresh market, like on a plate, like like on a plate like this. And like oh, in the bakery section. Yeah, and like you would have to ask them to get one. For, I don't want it like that. If I if, if I want these, I want to get them in a container like this. I don't want them to have gotten them in and take them out and, and put them in their little window and display them. No, I want them to be in this package. So um, I really do hope Kroger gets some flavors in and stuff that we haven't had so we can so we can buy. It gives us an excuse to buy more, right? Because uh, I think that is awesome. Very, very good. Yeah. And the peppermint's still lingering. Oh, still, yeah, it I still is. Have that peppermint. It's like you've had a piece of peppermint, a, a disc. Yeah, but it's even stronger than that. But there's no crunch to it, which mm -hmm. I'm glad. I'm glad they actually didn't put pieces of mm -hmm. can't hold no, candy. No, it would have ruined it. Yes, it, it. This is to me. This is like the perfect decadent treat. I, I just, I think it's absolutely mm -hmm. delicious. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.